we are going to be trying some Bridgeford Shelf Stable Whole Wheat and White Flatbreads today with our soup for lunch. There's our soup. <laughs> and we're going to be toasting them and making some garlic bread. Oh. Okay, I want the white bread. That's... You can have the wheat bread. Mom says she'll eat the wheat bread too. <laughs> she doesn't care. Okay. Let's so see what here's... both of those look like. Oh, yeah. look, they're a similar color too, huh? Yep. And they both came with the little oxygen absor absorber. And they've got the little whole things. And I think these are... These feel pretty sturdy. Maybe they're not pockets. I thought that they were supposed to be pockets. So you're going to try to cut these in half then? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll let you do that and check in. What? <laughs> it, it looks weird on the inside. It's You can see this is like regular bread, but this is like kind of hard. Huh. I'm sure it's fine. It's just weird looking on the inside. Huh. That is strange. So this is... Oh! Well, that's... Hmm. That's strange. Very weird. But you successfully cut it in half, which is a good thing. Yes. I didn't mess it up like I'm doing with this one. So we've discovered something really weird that was unexpected. Um, there's these kind of almost uncooked things in the middle. And it's it tastes fine. The wheat tastes like wheat bread and the white bread tastes like white bread. But it's just really, it was weird and unexpected to find this in um, the bread. It tastes good though. It tastes like regular bread. So. Huh. Okay, well you're going to put some butter on there. And you're yeah. going to put some garlic salt. Or just garlic. Garlic, garlic powder. powder. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Does anybody know what how to pronounce the name of this soup? Because I got in trouble once before uh, calling it... Pasta for me. It's... How do you pronounce it? No, that's how you pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay. <laughs> we can Google it. Okay. How is it? It's really good. Huh? Dense. A little bit of butter and garlic powder. It's great bread. And what kind of soup are we having? Your pasta fagouli. That's not the way it's pronounced, is it? Because I got in trouble. Fajuli. Fajuli. Oh, See, I, I got in trouble about that last time. Well, I just follow your lead. <laughs> okay. Well, I need to cut it. Well, just pull the little piece off there. Which one is this? This one is regular. White. This is the one that guy said was awful. That what? That one guy. We had a customer. <laughs> Oh, was it? Oh, okay. All right, so I'm going to take a little bite. It's not going to kill my diet. I'm not having the whole thing. And this is the white Bridgeford White Snack Bread. It's not bad. It tastes like bread. It's like when you make homemade bread and it's the heel. That's what it reminds me of, the heel of homemade bread, not like store bread. It's good. Okay. Yeah, I think... Uh I think Jen nailed the description. This is like the heel of homemade bread. Um, it's dense. Uh, it's got good good flavor to it. Got a little bit of chew. And, uh, yeah, it's good. I like it. Especially with butter and garlic on it. Okay, so you're trying the wheat bread right now. I already started munching on it. Um, I like it. It's good. It tastes like a whole wheat kind of bread. Um, garlic and butter make like almost any, anything better. <laughs> but um, I think I tried it plain and as a plain bread it was good but it's really good toasted and kind of done up a little bit. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye Jess. Yeah, this is uh, Bridgeford whole wheat bread, and um, they did it up in the oven and put some butter and some garlic powder on it. Okay. So, so what do you think? The garlic powder is an addition? Yes. Okay. Looks good.
Great texture. Mmm. That's better than I thought it would be. And I'm eating it cold. Um. Mm-hmm. That's gonna go good with the with the figoli soup. Did did we determine how to pronounce it? Uh, we did, but now I don't remember again. So <laughs> figoli, uh, figoli, fagioli. <laughs> so I don't remember. Yeah. No. This is. Um, I like this. I didn't yeah. know it was gonna taste like this. Yeah. All right. Good call. Okay. Chow down. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Good stuff. That's very hot, by the way. Oh. All right. I'm gonna burn my tongue. Say goodbye, John. Goodbye, John. Jen, what are you doing? <laughs> I am making a, my Medfast hearty meal. And I'm doing vegetarian sloppy joe. So for those of you who wonder why I'm not doing taste tests, this is why. But I'll tell you what, all those years of taste testing has gave me an appreciation for TBP, even if I don't like it. So, <laughs> so that, that, that is what again? It's gonna, well, you're going to have to get it before what? a vegetarian sloppy joe. Vegetarian sloppy joe. Yes. And it's going in the microwave. Yes. Okay. It'll be interesting. I haven't tried this one before. <laughs> but I can honestly say in two and a half weeks I'm down like 20 pounds, so I'm cool. Wow. All right, you're, you're ready? Yeah. <laughs> you're going to try it? I'm using an MRE spoon. Okay, because... we're going to look at this. Wow, that looked like soup when you started. Yeah. Now it looks like sloppy joe, doesn't it? Okay. Okay. Here we go. That's not bad. I can't put any salt and pepper on it. It would definitely not be my first choice, but boy, I love garlic powder. It's not bad. So just garlic powder, you're allowed, but salt, you're not. Yeah, and why it's pepper? Why can't you use pepper? I can use pepper. Oh. Because there's no nutritional value in any of this in pepper. It doesn't have any sodium. It doesn't have any carbs. So I can use those. It's not bad. I think that may have helped. Are, are you beginning to appreciate the... Uh, the mashed potato chicken gravy? No. <laughs> no. That still tastes like dog food. <laughs> okay, now, but you're not throwing this out. Okay, well, that's a good sign. <laughs> I'm not. Not my, I mean, I love sloppy joes. Give me a manwich and some laced potato chips and I'm a happy woman. But unfortunately, that also, also got me to close to 300 pounds. So, this is not bad. I don't get bread or bun, of course, and no laced potato chip, but it's not bad. I'm actually impressed it's edible. I brought a backup meal in case I couldn't eat this. 